Hey everybody, this is Deb with Truthification Chronicles, and I want to give you a heads up as to what might be happening this week. So here we go. You might have heard last month President Trump proclaimed September as National Preparedness Month. Well, he put out this statement, and basically it's saying that you should be prepared. He wants all Americans to be prepared for catastrophic storms, the wildfires like in California, and just all the different things that could happen. All Americans can prepare for potential disasters by developing and practicing a family emergency response plan, assembling a disaster supply kit, signing up for alerts on mobile devices, setting aside emergency savings, and maintaining adequate insurance policies for their homes and businesses. Okay, it, it sounds like kind of a typical thing you might read, but look at this line. Each step we take to become better prepared makes a real difference in how our families and communities will respond and persevere when faced with the unexpected. Well, I'm going to tell you I think something unexpected is going to happen this week. And I think there's a reason why President Trump wanted people to get prepared last month. And I suggest that if you can possibly do that, that you do some preparation this week because there might be something coming up. And why do I say that? Because there is going to be a nationwide test of the presidential alert system. Now that in and of itself, again, is not anything unusual, although it's rarely done, and it's been a while since this was done, but it's a very important thing. If there was a national emergency, it would allow President Trump to be able to send a message directly to the people. Now, does that mean there is going to be one, or is this just going to be test? I don't know, but I suspect there's a possibility that it might not end up being just a test. You know, it could very well just be a test, and that's all it is. But it might be something else, too. Some Anons have suggested that it is a test so they can monitor whether the deep state tries to attack it or hack into it and try to stop them. So they want to find that out. However, I think it may be different. And the reason I think that is because it was scheduled for the 20th, which should have been the day that Brett Kavanaugh was confirmed. That was the original date. And then all this garbage came in and his confirmation date has now been pushed back. October 3rd is Wednesday. I think he will be confirmed on October 3rd. And I think the minute he is confirmed, I think Trump will release the FISA documents. And as soon as he does that, Jeff Sessions will be released to be able to go ahead and start the arrests. And we might see arrests on that very day. If we do, when this comes across, and I believe it's going to be about 2 o'clock, 2.18 in the afternoon, Eastern Time. Yeah, down here. 2.18 p.m. Eastern Time. It will come through, and we'll find out. I mean, we will find out then. If it's only a test, it's just a test. If it's not, though, we may be seeing some arrests. And the reason that it's possible these are connected, again, it was because of the date change. And I think it's not a coincidence that it was changed to October 3rd. And we are looking for a vote on Kavanaugh this week. And I think probably it will come on October 3rd. Keep in mind this. Text of a notice on the continuation of the national emergency with respect to persons who commit, threaten to commit, or support terrorism. Okay, remember, these people have committed and threatened to commit terrorism. They have been involved with terrorists. They have been supporting terrorists. This is what they're going to get them on. And they're going to be tried for treason against our country. So this, I don't think it's by coincidence that this came out on the 19th. Remember, they were thinking that the 20th was when Kavanaugh was going to be confirmed. On September 23rd, 2001, by Executive Order 13224, the President declared a national emergency with respect to persons who commit, threaten to commit, or support terrorism pursuant to the International Emergency Economic Powers Act, 50 U.S.C. 1701-1706, to deal with the unusual and extraordinary threat to the national security foreign policy and economy of the United States constituted by grave acts of terrorism and threats of terrorism committed by foreign terrorists, including the terrorist attacks on September 11, 2001 in New York and Pennsylvania and against the Pentagon, 
and the continuing and immediate threat of further attacks against United States nationals or the United States. Okay? So that was Bush. Remember, 2001, that would have been Bush. The actions of persons who commit, threaten to commit, or support terrorism continue to pose an unusual and extraordinary threat to the national security, foreign policy, and economy of the United States. For this reason, the national emergency declared in Executive Order 13224 of September 23, 2001, and the measures adopted on that date to deal with that emergency must continue in effect beyond September 23, 2018. Therefore, in accordance with Section 202D of the National Emergencies Act, 50 U.S.C. 1622D, I am continuing for one year the national emergency with respect to persons who commit, threaten to commit, or support terrorism, declared in Executive Order 13224. So, this is a nice little statement here, supporting that executive order and upholding it. So in other words, we're in a state of emergency and he's setting things up for people who commit terrorism, threaten to commit terrorism, or support terrorism. And I think you're going to find a lot of the people that are going to be in those sealed indictments will be charged with this. I want you to understand what I think is going to happen this week. I think on Wednesday we're going to see a vote for Kavanaugh and he will be confirmed because I do believe they have the votes. And then I think you're going to see the FISA documents revealed. They'll be put out and everybody will be able to read them. That will result in Rosenstein being removed, probably by arrest. And there will be arrests for Comey, McCabe, and so forth. They're all going to be proven to be guilty in this. There are many others that are involved in this. I don't know how far the arrests will go at this point, but I do know that eventually it's going to lead to Obama, it will lead to Hillary, and it will involve also Brennan will be involved in that. So I don't know if when exactly all the arrests are going to happen because I'm not sure they're all going to happen at once. But I do think we will see a big chunk happen on that day, the ones that are named in those documents, because the proof will be in the documents. All people will have to do is look at them. Why the test of the emergency system? Because I think we may need that. There might be some uprising from some people, mostly in the larger cities, but that can also cause problems with the rest of the nation because if you have trucking lines that are disrupted or other services that are disrupted, it can cause problems across the United States. So my recommendation is stock up on some food, maybe 10 days worth. I would plan on about 10 days because Q has talked about 10 days of darkness. And so we kind of are thinking that's how long it's going to be or he suspects that's how long it will be. I would recommend that if you have anything on Facebook, Twitter, or any other social media that is your sole copy of it, I would recommend you download that because it's very possible those might go down and things would be wiped. I would recommend that you get your car filled up with gas. Just have some extra food and water ready to go. A state of preparedness in case something would happen. If nothing happens, you're not out anything. You can go ahead and eat the food. You can go ahead and drink the water. And you go ahead and use the gas. So it's not a big deal if it doesn't happen. But if it does happen, you'd be prepared. And I would rather you be prepared and it not happen than if you're not prepared and it does happen and causes you problems. So I really would like to give you that warning, that heads up. I think that's probably what's going to happen. I'm not guaranteeing it, but I think it probably will, or somewhere along the line in the next few days. But the Anons are suggesting that the 10 days of darkness that Q talked about are going to start October 3rd and go to the 13th. That's just what some are suggesting. So again, I recommend that you have enough to keep you through those 10 days. You have just everything you're going to need really to get through those days. If you need extra medicine or something, get it now if you can, because you probably will, you, you may need it. Whether it happens or not, we'll see. Maybe the test of the emergency system is just going to be that, a test, and maybe that's what they're using to flush out any deep state actors that are planning on hacking it or something. I don't know. That's a possibility, too, that the Anons have thrown out. With the timing, it seems like it's all coming together on that one day. 
So I really do think that's probably what we're going to face. We'll find out. Maybe I'll have egg on my face. I don't know. But that's just my thoughts. It's not, you know, Q hasn't said this is the way it will be. But he's led us to believe that this is kind of what's going on. And that some pretty spectacular things are in the very near future for all of us. So hang in there. And I hope that we'll all be back together again next time I make a video. I've got one that I'm going to be editing tomorrow to upload, but in case anything would happen, please know you can find me at my website, which is readthewriter.com, and I will put that across the screen, um, readthewriter.com. If you need to find me, that's where you'll be able to find me. Twitter has been purging some conservative accounts, so I don't know what's going to happen. And Google, I guess, is going to follow them. So be aware of that, too. Just if you have anything online, you know, like in the cloud, I'd recommend you save it off the cloud. Like download it. Keep it somewhere safe. Because eventually things are going to happen. I don't know if they are going to happen this week, but I think maybe they will. Be prepared. Make sure you've got everything. Take care of people that you know. And we'll all find out if this is really happening. So... Thanks for stopping by. I'll talk to you later. Bye.